The power grid, which is mankind's largest machine, actually, is 100 years old of design. It's time for an upgrade. Today we have coal and we have gas uh, plants and we have nuclear, and they're going to be replaced with, with wind and solar and other energy. And to make this work, when the sun is shining, then you need all the solar power to go into the grid. And when the wind is blowing, you need all the wind power to go into the grid. If they don't manage it in a proper way, you get stranded energy. The solution is to digitize it. And that we're doing with the sensors, like this. We put this on the wire, and then we collect the real-time, real data that the power grid owners need. It has a temperature sensor. If you know the temperature, then you know the capacity, how many megawatts you can run through a wire. On average, you can increase the grid capacity with 30%. Today, it's run so conservative because you don't have real-time data. It has a, a vibration and inclination sensor. So if a tree hits the line, then we can tell the grid owner where it is happening. One of the challenges uh, with instrumenting the grid is to make the communication with the neurons. It's uh, running over mountains and uh, all kind of desolate places. When the neuron do its readings, it will check if it has an opportunity for narrowband communication. If it doesn't, it sends the information to the next neuron. That neuron then checks, do I have uh, communication? If no, it sends it to the next neuron. And one neuron on that line will have communication. So that will send it to the cloud. I think the combination that we have with neuron-to-neuron -neuron communication and narrowband IoT uh, from Telia is uh, that we get a very solid, very robust communication infrastructure. And that is, of course, one of our competitive advantages.